The escritoire presents its user with a desk-sized display on which documents, images and other data can be read, arranged and modified. Two projectors overlap to create a large display that has a high-resolution fovea in front of the user. Like physical papers on a traditional desk, the sheets of virtual paper can be arranged over the whole area of the desk, identified at a glance and, if necessary, brought to the fovea to be worked on in detail. The brightness of modern digital projectors allows the system to be used under normal office lighting. The periphery of the display is created by a projector behind the desk. Its image is reflected down onto the desk by a mirror above. The fovea of the display is created by a projector above the desk that has a shorter optical path to the surface. Oblique projection from points set back from the front of the desk prevents the projected imagery being occluded when the user leans forward. The projectors do not have to be positioned precisely. Instead, the user selects a series of points to calibrate each one. The projected imagery is then warped in real time using commodity 3D graphics hardware to compensate for the distortions due to the rough positioning of the projectors. A camera and computer vision software could also be used to calibrate the projectors, although the selection of points would still be necessary to register at least one of the pens with the desk. To complete the calibration, the user chooses rectangular regions on the desk to use as the periphery and the fovea of the display. The two projected images are now aligned. The user can quickly identify information in the low resolution region, then bring it to the high resolution region to view it in detail. Two-handed input is possible because the desk is a large electromagnetic digitizer that is controlled by a cordless stylus in the user's dominant hand that is used for operations such as writing. This is combined with an ultrasonic pen in the non-dominant hand. This second pen can be used to move items around on the desk and could also be used to bring in tool palettes and click through tools for the dominant hand. PDF files can be manipulated on the desk. Instead of printing to paper, a document from a standard application program, such as a word processor, is printed to PDF, then it can be read and annotated on the escritoire. Images can also be placed on the desk. A VNC client on the desk makes programs on other computers available. In this case, a web browser is being controlled using the digitizer pen. Like real pieces of paper, items on the desk can be put into piles to save space and to organise them by subject, importance or whether they require attention. Handling of the input and output devices, including the graphics warping for the two projectors, is performed by a single client PC. 
The server provides the implementation of the items on the desk. Multiple clients can connect over the internet to a single server to allow remote parties to collaborate using the same documents, images and programs. This augments the audio and video channels of a conventional video conference by giving the participants a shared context to which they can refer. In the following example, the local user is helping the remote user by pointing out an area on a map he has drawn. So they would all be uh, approximately in this area here. A user can choose to have no feedback on pen positions, to have crosshairs that are useful for pointing out locations to the remote user, or traces that allow more expressive gesturing. Despite the proliferation of computers, paper thrives as a display medium because it has affordances that have not been surpassed. It does not have the problems of lack of screen space encountered on computer monitors. It naturally supports various types of spatial layout, and it is easily manipulated and annotated with the hands or a pen. The aim of the escritoire is to address these issues with an affordable system made from commodity components, and to exploit one of the key advantages of electronic documents, their ability to be shared by geographically distributed users.